Welcome to another episode of How We Roll, where we film great role-playing game designers running the games they created. Tonight's episode features Jeep form, specifically the scenario called The Upgrade. Now, I promised earlier that we were filming the game's designers. Well, we didn't actually have the Jeep form or upgrade game designers here, but we had a couple of Scandinavians in Seattle, and we figured, hey, close enough. So we filmed them running Jeep form. Now, Jeep form is really, really cool. If you haven't seen this before, prepare for something totally different. Jeep form is as close to live action role playing as you can get without having to be called a live action role playing game. Uh, it is, it borrows techniques from tabletop role playing game and improv comedy and LARPing and kind of mixes them all up. Like for example, it, the action doesn't happen around a table, it happens on a stage. And you take the stage and divide it up into three areas, past, present, and future, at least in this scenario, in the upgrade. And so if players are in the present area, then they're doing a scene that's in the present. If somebody wants to interrupt the action and create a scene that happened in the past, they simply run over to the area that's the past and, and, and interrupt and, and do a scene there. Or they can run to the future and foreshadow some future event. Also, what's really interesting is that players who are not in a scene can go out and sit in the audience. Or you might have friends who are handy who sit in the audience and the audience has a role to play in the film. So you'll notice that we also have some cutaways of, of the audience throwing out ideas and, and laughing at some of the comedy that ensues. Another thing you'll notice about this particular game is that we had two, uh, two people running the game. Um, I don't know if all Jeep Form games do that or not, but um, I'm not here to be an expert in Jeep Form. I'm just here to film it. Enjoy. Welcome, everybody. Um, feels weird briefing while cameras were running, but this is a game called The Upgrade, graciously set up by Peter. Oh, somebody needs to shoot. Peter on camera. Hi, <laughs> Rover. Hi, Rover. Good, good. Yeah. All right, let's do it. It's not about me. It's not about Peter. Yeah. It's about actually those eight people there. And a game show, game show, or a reality TV show called The Upgrade. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Um, basically, outline of the game. Um, like I said, it's a reality TV show, game show where couples sort of or join the show as couples. The point of the show is date other people. Then at the at the end of each week which is basically what we're shooting here. You get to vote on if you want to stay with your original partner or if you want to upgrade to the person you were dating in the previous week. Roughly the format of the game show is that um, it's you come to the show, you get assigned or you pick a sign, whatever, a new partner, you date them for a week. That's what's happened in the past five, six days. Then at the end of the week, you, um, this sort of weekly roundup show is filmed in the studio with studio audience where clips of the events of the past week are shown. Um, the game consists 
mostly of those clips that of the events that have happened in the past week. There might be something like interviews that are being done in front of the live audience, present as you can see, um, which then are, there might be guest hosts, there might be psychologists interviewing you. Um, like all good reality TV, there's the confession room where you can go. That hopefully is handled by our beautiful roving camera there. If you want a confession, we'll get to the game mechanics in a bit. We'll hopefully get to use him for it. That's roughly the outline. So we are filming the, what do you call it? Roundup show at the studio. And we'll see. And at the end of the game, or at the end of the uh, episode, we do the vote, see who upgrades, who stays. If you, um, the rules of the game are roughly so that if both of the original couple vote stay, they stay on the show. If both of the new couple who have been dating for the past week vote upgrade, they stay on the show. And people might stay in the show because audience wants that, the Facebook group wants that, um, some but. outside um, person is giving money to the show, so somebody stays, so if you're a sponsor. And, and, that's and, roughly out of the scope of the game as it's yeah. being played because we have sort of the perfect number of players. Yeah. And the game ends at the vote, voting, yeah. so we only get to see who's going to be there on next week, but we won't be playing that. Um, you have the characters, like I said, they are really open-ended. Um, if something seems to be missing from them, motivation, whatever, feel free to fill it in by yourself. Um, there is the yeah, questionnaire. Let's go, first. Um, let's go game mechanics first. Yeah. Um, basically, uh, like I said, this is a free-form game. Um, main events happen on the central stage here, nicely. Pretty scribbled on the floor. Um, this is called the now area. This is where sort of that if you see or when a clip of the events of the week have, are, is shown on the show, this is where it's being acted out. Generally, we lay out the scenes. We tell where it's happening, who are in it, and what's roughly sort of what's the starting point. And then we'll see what happens, like you see on reality TV. If you come up with scene ideas that you want to pitch in, please do so. If you think something is something we definitely worth seeing. And optimally, optimally we get only scene ideas from you because your ideas are so cool. Yes. So we have lots of scene ideas, but if you have better, let's use them. Yeah. Um, the other two areas on the floor is the past area, which is over on the left side, seen from the crowd, and the future area, as seen right. From the future, uh, from the crowd, um, these areas are used for, or everything basically happens in the now area here. But any scene in the now area can be interrupted by players in, who are in the audience who are not actively part of the now scene. Generally, the past area is something like, well, let's say Rose and Nate are on a date here. They are walking, having a, this sort of a hiking trip or hiking date somewhere, and suddenly someone decides that, or, or Rose is a being a bit bitch because she's having bad shoes, <laughs> getting blisters, yeah. and she's moaning about it. And suddenly someone realizes, yes, I want to see why Rose is so moony when she's hiking out. So two players, or one player jumps up from the audience, could be Eric, Eric here, and decide, yes, I want to tell why Rose is whining. Then Eric goes to the past area, grabs maybe another player, if, usually it's better if there's someone else than yeah. just you. You grab another player, you set up the scene, just like two, three short sentences. You could say, this is Rose, age 12, in a summer camp. <laughs> and then there's just a random other kid with them. And then they're walking in the woods, and we see that Rose is already was 
moaning yeah. about, oh, this is my army in this form. <laughs> and, and, and as the past scene ends, all that has happened in the past is now true in yes. now. Yes. So the players who have been waiting in now have to accommodate to that what has happened in the past. Yeah. So people will change your characters in the past. Yeah. But basically, this obviously calls for respect, so you don't do anything completely horrible to the other <laughs> other player's character. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing like that. No, no losing legs. Right? <laughs> but but okay. if, if we, for example, realize that Rose is terribly afraid of spiders in that past, they're walking in that forest and this huge spider <laughs> comes down and Rose gets scared shitless, <laughs> then that is true in, in the now scene. Does it affect the now scene? Maybe, maybe not. But for, for example, the other player who has seen the past might pitch in, oh, is that a spider? Yes, <laughs> in the now scene, suddenly, and suddenly we see Rose going all white and scary and clutching to his date, and like you would in a reality dating show. <laughs> so you are allowed, allowed to use other people's ideas, you are encouraged to use the yes. other people's ideas. Yes. So pitching ideas for other people in the now scene, or to the players actually playing that character, give them ideas why their character is doing the stuff she is doing or he is doing. Um, fear of heights, fear of spiders, cannot swim, hates bicycling because he ran into a wall when they were small, anything like that. Then, the other side, future. We still have the same scene with Rose and Nate being on a date. Future scene, somebody wants to see, ah, this date goes well. I wanna see, let's, let's play, this is, this is Rose imagining Sorry, I'm picking on you now. <laughs> Rose imagining the perfect future because the date is going so well. Somebody pitches in, come say, okay, this is Rose and Nate, 15 years later, married, two kids, mortgage, whatever, and they're sitting in a breakfast table. Then two players come up, one of them pitches, this is where we are, or both of them can pitch it. They can, like, first comes in, okay, I want to play Rose and Nate 15 years later, married, and the other, and another one, yeah, I'll join that. They have two kids, and they're still happily married, and then we play out the scene. And this is sort of, they should lay out that this is sort of Rose's fantasy about yeah. the date. Yeah. That's the most important distinction between the past, yes. which is always true, and the future. Uh, next thing about these scenes is how we um, make the scenes. So we kind of make them with really short descriptions, saying this is the scene where something happens. This is the scene um, where we walk ha hand in hand and you make a pass on me. That would be a scripting for the scene. So we, then we act out the scene, how it happens. So when we are doing a scene, we could say it has a passing on, you could have a, um, you could trip or hurt yourself. We could do that in the beginning. Um, and everything that you do in a scene kind of adds on to the scene. So if it's a scene about um, us being in our home, um, arguing about something, if Alex starts saying that the washing machine is broke, after that, the washing machine will be broke. Yes. So everything that's said will become true in the game. Yeah. Uh, when you're not playing, you're part of the studio audience. Um, we will be filming you. Um, you may act as a studio audience of the show. Yes. This, this is especially true when scenes go too far. If the scenes have action, or if, if they go too far, for example, sexually for a TV show, we cut them and we show what the audience sees in the camera. <laughs> so what, what are, like, or, <laughs> or something. Oh, uh, oh yeah, and um, same goes, the audience reaction goes, if there's a, an actual sort of conflict or something that needs to be resolved in the now area, or a competition, there's a match of tennis or uh, bungee jumping, uh, these sort of dares, like, you know, you both do this, and you get a five-star dinner, romantic candlelight. Yeah. Beach, if it whatever. goes well. If, it, if you both jump. And then we so, so see the audience reactions, yeah. and try to decide by them, did yeah. it go well or not. Yeah. We as the directors of a show might ask for a rerun of a scene. Or we might ask a rerun with a confession in, between the scene, or rerun with them holding hands, or rerun where other one of them has been offered $10,000 for something. 
You rose. Don't mind us. Yeah. <laughs> um, you basically then the overarching thing here is this is a game about you as players and about you making this. We're just producers in the um, yeah, directors. Uh, directors, yeah. yeah. You have the role of producers of this show as well. If you think that a scene should be rerun, you can sort of take the role of producer and say, no way, that's, that wasn't quite good enough. This isn't what we quite want for this show. Mm -hmm. And I suppose we can sort of extend the courtesy to Peter as well of um, basically same scene, same setup, just add something like basically you're having a candlelight dinner, yeah, whatever, a bit bland. Same thing, you start with holding hands oh, and if you looking deep into your, each other's eyes. But we'll probably see how this all works. We have some practice scenes, yes. some startup scenes that we will see how it works. And by the end of the game, everybody will, will know how it works. So, and if, if something goes wrong, it doesn't matter, because it's about reality TV anyway. So mm -hmm. it will get wrong in the show, too. Um, um, yeah. That's pretty much about how to play. Yeah, that's pretty much about how to play. There are some, some things that we need to talk about. Uh, the tone. Oh, yes, uh, these are. How to uh, um, borders. Yeah, border, personal. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is us coming from the Nordic culture of LARPing, where personal boundaries are we're a lot more open to that. So stuff like we were talking shortly about this with Peter, but I mean, obviously, kissing doesn't happen. That's a given. But holding hands is someone horribly opposed to holding hands in a scene. Or looking deeply and longingly <laughs> to the other guy's arm. <laughs> you <laughs> and back to the tone. Um, we have a decision to make on, on the tone of the um, game or the show. Uh, it will be hilarious for the players, most probably at least before it has been, the both times I've played this as a player and a, as a game master. Um, but the show, it can be a comedy, it can be tra tragedy, drama, or anything. We should decide how, how do we want to play it out. Do we want it to be fun? Do we want it to be... Something else. <laughs> deep? <laughs> yeah, deep, 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 <laughs> Whatever you're in for. That's, that's just something that we agree <coughs> as a group and we try to keep it as a group. Mm -hmm. yes. The game masters won't be interfering with that. It's just a social um, contract. I like comedy, but I don't know. Oh, not farce. Not farce. Not, not farce. farce. Yeah. The sort of human interest comedy is generally the, your best bet. Yeah. 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 The tragic human. Cheesy? Right. Cheesy it is. It's reality TV. It's reality TV show, right? Yeah. So it's got to be a little bit over the top, but mm. definitely not farcical, but yeah. yeah. So we were selected for this cast because we're a little bit unusual individuals. Sure. There could be some potential conflicts. <laughs> One would hope. One would hope. One would hope. This is reality TV. Yeah. At the beginning of the game, we are going to have, be having two special scenes. Or actually, many special scenes, but two kind of special scenes. Yes. Uh, the first one is um, media trainers. Yes, media trainers, where two, of, two random other players will interview a the couple, the, the couple who have existing couple, couple, for example, you two or you two. It's basically you get a short description, short description of, the cat, of the media trainer, the persons who are playing them, and then basically on a short questionnaire. And the point of that scene is um, for everybody sitting in the audience to sort of try out the different mechanics of the game. How the game works. Past, yes. scene, past scenes, future scenes, inner monologues slash confessionals for everybody. It's absolutely fine to just raise your hand and say, would, would it be OK to do this at this point? It's just but, but we are trying to keep them, them quite short, so um, yeah. just, it's just practice. It is practice. And the other one, then, the other special scene is where you all get to sit here. It's going to be speed dating with 
maybe two minutes. Two three mi minutes. Two, three, three minutes. minutes. You just sit opposite your own partner. Then when we say go, you jump. <coughs> Make the jump. Guys, jump. Yeah. <laughs> One spot to the right. Ladies, just sit tight. Um, you have two minutes to get to know each other. Yes. Then we switch, switch again and until again, everybody yeah. has met everyone. And then ladies vote on who they, whom they want to be dating. dating. This is basically what has happened a week before this. It was from last week's, or the results Recap. of the last week's recap. recap. Yeah. So we know who's been dating, so we can get the scenes rolling from sort of my day one. Let's go to the characters. Do you have a question? Um, they are there basically to get to help you to get to know your character. A lot of you did them already, which was wonderful, so it was time. A lot of you did already with your partners as well. You've discussed, you know, what, what hopefully. But um, the point is that at this point we need to need you to make the personal questions and the part, uh, partner questions and answer as your character would have answered. Oh, when, yeah, exactly. Those the, have been filled when you applied for the show. Okay. So they don't have to be true. You can lie <laughs> and you can make spelling mistakes and stuff because you have the questionnaire with you in, on the show so you can remember what you and and as you're filling them or if you have filled them there are two other questions that you really need to think about yes. on this whole um, uh, show they're not qu asked anywhere but why is your character on the show why does he or she want to upgrade is it because he his or her companion forced you on the show or is it because you want to win the money. The money. Or are you here <laughs> because you want to upgrade? Yeah. You're looking for the love of your life. And another thing and is. And another thing is, why do you want to be famous? Yes. You're on reality TV. You want to. You want to be a celeb. Yeah. So why do you want to be a celeb? Yeah. Pretty much everybody's here. For. And when the show is over, will you have your own show? Because <laughs> if you're true, real, real TV it is, it is It is a game, it is a show, it is a competition. So if your character doesn't see it that way, fine, but sort of think, does your character consider this to be a competition to be won or a chance to experience something new and true, find true love? Or is there, are they there because, yeah, whatever? I think we're giving um, five minutes to, or ten yes. minutes to do that. Yes. We don't know about it. Yeah, so that's yeah, kind of smaller than that. Mayor, maybe if you have an amazing talent for um, writing, songwriting. Okay. The media training characters are given. They have one, step, one oh, short description <laughs> and some <laughs> sample questions. Yes, so this sample question. This thing is about the media trainers giving you formal training for the show. Yes. And there is the sort of list media training. Unfortunately, no, we don't have to. Yeah. That's. <laughs> okay. yeah. My these, are these, these are sort of what you, what you could ask. Them. And you're sort of more than, you know, you're allowed to make their life hell. They are supposed to be good. You know, they should be able to stand the pressures of having camera in front of them. And At this point, you have been given, um, you're probably getting into the show, but you are not certain yet. Yes. Because if the media, media trainers say you are not fit for a show, you won't be getting there. Mm -hmm. So make their life a living hell. Put your shine on, bird. You're good? You sort of understand what you're yep. there to do? Stage is yours. Patty, and is it Alesso, Alessi, Alessa? Alessio. Alessio, wonderful. Um, could you tell me a little bit about how you two met? Well, uh, oddly enough, um, Alessio is a fantastic graphic designer, and he was working on my last album cover. And um, we went in to review some of the proofs and look at final concepts. And there was plenty more to review after that. <laughs> so you're saying that you're not very professional then? <laughs> No, it was saying that it was kind of infatuation and love at first sight. So we finished our work, we proofed everything off, and then we ran off to Mexico for a well-deserved vacation after everything we finished. Well, I see. Now, does that mean you just won't run off the show? Well, 
considering that we came on to kind of uh, reassess and that it was actually vacation time for both of us, I don't think we will. Will you run off the show? Oh, certainly not. I mean, we completed Let's our there. work. Let's there. Thank you. Okay. It's perfect. Okay. It's Apparently, you are not running from the show, right? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, we're trying to keep this short, just okay. to get people a feeling of the game. Do the media trainers want to continue? And let's get another couple in. Yeah, yeah. next couple. couple. Uh, media, yeah, please no, stay, please trainers. stay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Another couple. Good work. Excellent work. Excellent work. <laughs> Camera's good. Go. Sally, Nate, what would you say the worst thing about each other is? Oh, it's been so long, right? Everything works out. These things just have a, ma a way of working themselves out. I can't, can't think of anything that I would change. I think we could maybe change up the, the reading that we're doing. Uh, you know, it's always nice to add something new to hmm. the mix. So being born then, okay. Um, <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that at all. You know, I'm an event planner and he's an accountant. We're always changing things. It's about stability. Mm -hmm. Let's have a past scene here. <laughs> it's Can we have the rolling cameraman here? Are, because they are. Let's have, let's have a nice evening while when they're at home, sitting on their couch, watching TV, yeah. and both are sort of going. Yeah, we need your Sally and me. Um, could you pass the tea, sweetheart? Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Stability. <laughs> this is what your life is about. <laughs> Please continue. Now, if you say you're about stability, what would happen if something unexpected, some unexpected challenge comes up? Oh, I'm, I'm all about preparing for the unexpected, right? As an accountant, insurance is, of course, one of the many services that I offer. You have to plan for these things. And events never go the way you intend them oh, to go. Oh, that thing in Paris? It was a disaster. But she could, it, was, it was perfect by the time she was done with it. That's fine. Yeah. Now let's swap the crew completely. Let's have Alessio, or well, the, one of the couples here, and mix up. Let's have two male media trainers, Alessio and Nate, please. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Just a quick glance on the media trainers. I know trying to solve those questions. questions for people. And they just, they think. Oh. No. I'm working for a reason. Got to keep that money coming. Oh, sorry. Yes, of course. So, you're both here. You're both on the show. Maybe, maybe not. It's, it's going to get your face in front of millions of viewers, right? How are you going to communicate who you are to our home audience? It's quite obvious. I mean, my stunning wife here is going to catch everybody's eye and by good communication skills people are going to recognize that um, I have superior qualities. Robot, check. <laughs> so what is your view, Rose, on open relationships? Well, we've never actually talked about it, but I mean, he's gone. I'm on night shift, he's works during the day, I'm alone at lot of, so. You're a whore. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. I don't take money for it. Okay. <laughs> Horror in training, then. It's sort of an aspiration. Possibly. Well, we, well, we haven't actually written a contract on specifically what is and is not allowed. We do have certain common goals, and we recognize that to achieve those, we will... Communication is key. 
we will communicate with each other and with others in whatever language people communicate. All right. So Brilliant. You yes, excellent. <laughs> and now let's have. Yeah. Love the Helen part about the contract. <laughs> Paddy to. Oh, wait. No, you guys need to go. Uh, okay, we're we're the last couple. Yeah. And let's have Sally and Paddy being the media players. And a short note, please be a bit more vocal or yes. loud because back here we want to hear stuff. So. Volume a bit, please. Okay. I know when you're ready. Um, alrighty, so, Jason, Helen, um, it, you know, uh, how do uh, the two of you feel about long-term commitment? I think we're, we're, we're ready for it. Right. For, yeah. You think you're ready for it, so you're unsure. Yeah. <laughs> we, we don't have that. We're, we're making sure we're right for each other. Yeah. And how so long have you uh, been dating? Three years. Three years. Three years. We're, we're married. We've yeah. been married. Oh. Oh. Three. Three years. Married. And you're <laughs> deciding now to make sure you're right for each other after you got married. We're, I mean, we're pretty sure we're not, we're not right for each other, um, so. <laughs> so. <laughs> Alrighty, so um, then what kind of, what are you looking for then in a potential other partner than each other? An other partner. <laughs> Just somebody else that's yeah. not each other. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's, let's come there. Yeah. 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 Oh. Right. As we told in the beginning, we're giving you two or three minutes, depending, basically on Alexi, and we have no idea which we will be giving, to get to know the partner you're with at the moment speaking. And after that, the males will give the roses and then we'll see who has been dating home. Okay. Uh, and we're, we're starting with switch to that direction, so you're yes. getting to this side. Yes, Let's okay, switch. So switch men, right? All right. Yep. The men are switching. Yeah, yeah, the men are switching, yeah. 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 Time starts. Hi, Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Hi, Helen, it's a pleasure to meet you. Hi. Hi. How are you? So I'm Sally. Uh, have you ever been in TV so before? Oh, no, no, not me. Uh, I've watched right some videos now for the day job. Yeah. So but you I've been like working on this new opera. Uh, I've done, done a few small things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Probably, Probably nothing you've ever seen. Okay. Past okay. episodes like of this show. Like, are you in Sundance? Oh, you did. I have attended Sundance, but just as a viewer. I also do work a lot. That's like practically the same thing. Probably, right? I like it. Roughly. It's, it's basically the same, and you get to wear fur. Oh, that makes me proud. I have a really bad caffeine right addiction. Right now, I'm a fur. Right, you'll be comfortable with that if she's out on a date or not. We've lived separate lives. So that's not a problem for you. That important when you have control over your own life? We've both agreed to control. It's not like anything's going on. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, uh, stability is right. wonderful. And I'm born to Shakespeare. Hi, Jay Partners. <laughs> <laughs> so nice to meet you, Eric. Come on, come on. We're on a fine table cool. here, guys. Clean <laughs> <laughs> cup. Hi, 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 Nice to meet you. You're Patty. I guess. Yeah, my sequins don't work yeah, well for you. Well, me for him. Well, I think it's an interesting method well, of sort of uh, meeting people in, and developing some frameworks for relationships, right? But I've been I with my partner for some time. I failed at that, but I'm trying to rebound. It's whatever helps. Maybe the next step for us would be to get more serious or to go our separate ways. Maybe we're not really serious. I know, are you looking for something that. more more serious? Necessary. Something more rooted? You know, I think so, and I definitely would love to have that all considering what you do and what's the thing that makes you really I like like old theaters. Well, and uh, yeah, <laughs> especially uh, the Paramount and stuff. And um, I have a couple of albums out, which isn't necessarily a bit of camp to be out here and having exposure, but I mean, I really, really. 
Time's up, people! Change partners! Checking the fields, planning, but I want to have kids. All right, all this stuff is good, but is it getting me where I want to be? Wow, that's very good. Well, you know, I work at well, a theater right now, and, and, yeah. and I understand you know, the, uh, that. Yeah? <laughs> because sometimes I don't see her until it's late, and then I can get back up and do it again. Do you guys? I mean, are you there solo? And once you set up, and you stay down. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please. Nice to meet you. Scene is about arrival to the host of the destination. It's supposed to be an um, paradise location somewhere in the Pacific. You probably would know a preference place for that, right? Pacific, Caribbean. A name of place? Mediterranean. Uh, Could be something. Uh, Let's call it Bellevue. Cancun, Cancun yeah. Oh, Cancun. Ho 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 Cancun. Hotel Bellevue in Cancun. Yeah. So, so, so you're arriving to Hotel Bellevue in Cancun. Um, um, we had starting scenes of you arriving, um, and I'm just carrying your package. So let's just go there, and you, yes. you get there, and it's fabulous. <laughs> yeah. So it's fabulous. It's very large. Yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, even the flowers, right? I mean, this is just totally over. Large flowers. <laughs> yeah. I. I mean, are those? Local, right? Can you grow those here? That's oh, I don't know. I'm not a botanist. Sure, but it's so, I don't know. It's the water and, I don't know. It's pretty, I guess. Yeah. Is it pretty? It is pretty. Do Good. You, do, do you have a garden? Uh, well, we have a lawn, right? And there's, it's what all on it? uh, grass. It's, it's all <laughs> just, you know, yeah. you, you keep it mowed, simple. It's, there's, I mean, simple. you've got to water it, but nothing like what they must have to do with this, okay. um, this, Something. I don't know what it is. It's, well, it's a uh, flower. It's a flower. I don't think you should touch it. it it's, uh, it's a flower. You should have a flower. Thank you. It's beautiful. It's good. Good. Uh, okay. And cut. And cut. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you smell bittersweet. <laughs> so I missed the sentence. Yeah. Yes. You are. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Five star hotel, Bellevue, in Cancun, the prettiest place. Well, maybe in Cancun. Mm. <laughs> you are arriving there. This is the destination for this season of upgrade. And we are arriving. I'm carrying your bags. Stage is yours. Sorry about getting us lost up on the way up here. You know, I'm bad with directions and geography. I, I didn't know that, but I hear it's a common failing of women. Well, yeah. I don't know. I couldn't map quest it. I lost perception on my phone on the way down. Yeah. I, uh, technology, it sucks. I'm, I'm not really a planner. I like to you know, make things up as I go along. Yeah, I get with that. Improvisation is great. I mean, artists use that technique all the time. Let's hold on there for a minute and have a... Uh, just hold, please, there. Okay. And have a um, past scene with Alessio arriving the same destination for the first romantic holiday with Patsy. your... Patsy. With Patsy. So, Patsy and please somebody place uh, Alessio. Just now scene, stay there. <laughs> and... <laughs> And you're coming to the same hotel for your first romantic holiday. <laughs> it's, uh, are we here? It's here, we're here. It's totally here. Can you believe it? Oh my God. We've, <gasps> we've got to do shots. We've got to, um, shots and shots. The, shots? The bar, yes, but the, the I shots think we should go skinny dipping right over there. I love <laughs> okay, this plan. Okay, come on. No, all right, no, 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 take no, no. this off. Let's yes, go. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. And now we continue the night. Uh, just a moment <laughs> to the cams. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like this before? This place is amazing. It is amazing. You know, I've uh, 
No, I've never seen anything like this place. And, and may I say, you, you look lovely in this place. Aw, thank you. Put on my nicest dress for it. And the shoes are wonderful. Really? It's not terribly great for work, walking on sand, but you know. No, uh, hey, so you, have you ever been to a resort like this before? Well, yes, but I wasn't wearing these. Uh, I have others. It's, uh, I could lose myself in this place. I have lost myself in this place. So you said you hadn't been here before. I, Let's leave it up there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you, those were excellent. Um, probably all the pairs arrived about that way. We are very fast forwarding a bit to the first night, the first date of um, a pair. Yes, you obviously, everybody gets the sort of nice evening out on the beach with little candles and nothing fancy because you haven't earned it yet. But let's. Can we film it this low? Yeah, sure. Our, our camera people are yep. on it. Just <laughs> let us know. <laughs> so, beach, we can take chairs as well if you feel. Yeah. For whatever wardrobe reasons. Appreciate sitting on a chair rather than behind. <laughs> Off the remaining Just press. saying, ladies have short skirts. Some of the ladies <laughs> have short skirts here, so. Yeah. <laughs> but yes. Uh, whichever, whichever of the whichever remaining. of the two remaining pairs, your first evening out. Shall we start with the bittersweet? Yes. Let's have. Do you want ice cream chair? I don't think so. Yeah. You want chairs? Okay. We'll yeah. get started with chairs and your bittersweet. <laughs> 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 Ooh, dirty words. <laughs> so yes, evening out on the beach. Little candles, little wine. Okay. Let's not get over the top yet. We need glasses. We need to get rid of glasses. No, we need glasses. <laughs> you hold the glass. Uh, I'm gonna Well then, I will put the <laughs> tablecloth out there. Ooh, oh. a little magic trick. I hope you didn't miss that. I saw that. <laughs> Very nice. So, wine. Wine. Towel on the beach. In the sand a little bit, it stays better. Oh, that's so nice. Shall we relax and enjoy, my lady? Oh. Listen to the, the waves crashing. And the moon. Wow. Yeah. Is the moon closer here? Uh, it's, it seems a little bit bigger. Must be a harvest moon. You think they really harvest underneath the moon? Hmm. <laughs> Just a thought. So this is, um, hi. Hi. So tell me, um, tell me about this uh, plan that you have to introduce oh. your product. Well, uh, keeping a lot of that under wraps right now for the very obvious reason what first mover and want to avoid all the issues with people duplicating and people trying to find ways around the, um, the patents and things like that. So not talking much about that right now. Uh, However, I am due for another glass of wine. Well, thank you. And let's get you some. Sorry, I need to spill a little oh. there. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Let's fast kind forward of. this. This is your almost end of the second bottle of wine. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, what is it you see in Rose? Well, she used to be a very different individual. Really? But, um, Why are you, you guys know, time here? changes people, and mm. you know, it's just one of those things. It's kind of nice, kind of relaxing. You, mm -hmm. you get into a relationship, and you, you quit challenging it and questioning it so much. I know what you mean. Cut! <laughs>
Why is why are the stars so much brighter here than at home? Well, because there's not the city light pollution, for one thing. <laughs> and I don't know. It's pretty nice. And it sounds so romantic with the waves crashing. It really, really does. So, Jason, tell me, what is uh, your favorite thing about yourself? Me? You? <laughs> <laughs> Are you that fantastically awesome? Well, yes, I used to be a model, so... Oh. I'm just that good looking. Well, I can see that. You're definitely easy on the eyes, for sure. Oh. Now, how was your steak? My steak was delicious. They did it extra rare, just how I like it. Just seared both the sides and, you know. And would you like a little more champagne? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> but this is so much more romantic than anything I can think of. Really? Speaking of anything romantic you can think of, since you're married, Mm -hmm. <laughs> and are you applying the Tai Chi? Well, no, since you're here with your wife, clearly that you both are kind of uh, exploring other options, mm -hmm. but how do you see that working out in the event of a divorce? How does Jason see this happening in the event of divorce? Oh, oh. We all know they're not married, but Jason and Rose, without Rose not being there, who wants to go play Rose? They're having their divorce now. No, Sally. Oh, Helen. No, right, don't. Helen. Oh, oh, Helen. Sorry. Helen. Yes. <laughs> Whatever. I'm mixing up. So Rose can, whoever. Without being the wife. Without, yes. yes. You're having your divorce now. All right. <laughs> and you actually were married. What? True, you are. You are only step. You are actually married now. You in in this married. future scene. Yes, yes. let's go. Stay on this camera. This is 10 years forwards. Two years after this competition, you actually did get married because, hey, you're just stepbrother and stepsister, and now you're actually having your divorce. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, Helen realized that Jason is the man for her, and you got married. No, actually, you were married actually, for eight years. Okay. And now you have a divorce. Yeah. Now, but now we're imagining this. <laughs> no, this is Jason imagining right. you guys right. okay. being married and getting a divorce. Look, we so. just we just have to get the paperwork done. Right? Oh, sure, like sure. It's, just the uh, the, the, just I, 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 well, but it's important paperwork, right? Yeah. We keep going over the numbers. We have to keep, we just need to sign it and get it done and quiet so that it's all out. We don't want anybody, like, you, I don't want to bring the family lawyers into this, right? Oh, you should no have thought good, about that before we married, but before this bringing is, the family lawyers in. I bet they're family too. Uh, they're, and they are family, and they deserve our respect and our admiration and their ignorance, I think. I'm not going to have our stepdad litigate our divorce. There's my well, stepdad, there's my stepfather. God, 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 thank you! <laughs> <laughs> so basically, this is you getting divorced from Helen. <laughs> 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 take your time, take your time. Take your time. But yeah, Patty was just asking you about your divorce. How would that work out? <laughs> well, I think it's best for the two of us, Beth, for the two of us. Now we can each find what we're looking for in life. Yeah, so you're sure it would be amicable. Did you guys have a prenuptial agreement? Yes, we did. Mm-hmm. So good. Well, it's good to know that in a future uh, uh, marriage, perhaps, that you wouldn't be opposed to a prenuptial agreement. So should we put a quick scene in the past where uh, <laughs> she and I have talked about the prenup? That is, that <laughs> is <laughs> absolutely perfect use of this. 
Now we just yep. need a paddy. I need a paddy. Oh. Paddy. Oh. Yep. We need a paddy in the past. Past paddy. And, and paddy dominates this relationship. So, sweetie, now that my uh, record deal is going platinum and we've been planning on the it's wedding so and everything, amazing. I know I, it's I, fantastic. I finally, think all think those that. all those voice lessons finally paid off, and that new agent was great. I mean, I'm sorry I Oof. had to take you out of the picture, but you know, I think it's better this way. We don't have a working professional relationship. Oh no, you got to keep them separated. Yeah, um, but now that. There's significantly more money in the bank. Um, how do We're, you... Uh, the size of the pool, I know. I, I just, it's fucking huge, I, right? I know, it's, it's gonna be amazing. But, um, so I saw a lawyer the other day. What? And, well, he pulled up some paperwork for me that uh, I emailed About your you. Deal. Um, have you checked your email? Uh, I, no, well, I've been you, in the studio. you should, um, because I emailed you just some, uh, just a little bit of paper that I was hoping maybe you wouldn't mind signing before everything gets underway. I mean, you can oh. read it and talk to me about it if you want, but I mean, it's it's nothing really. You can just sign it. The, you've mentioned it before. Well, the, I I didn't really want to bring it up again, but eh, it just seemed like such a sore subject, you it's, know? It's okay. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well now, how do you think your son will accept me? Well, I'm not sure how my uh, son would accept a new person. It would be something I definitely would want to ease him into. You know, I would want to make sure that um, this was definitely something that was the direction that we were going and it would be really important to me that John was happy with whoever I might end up with. <laughs> but for that, we need only Paddy. Thank you, <laughs> And we'll have this in a in confessional. A... Oh, okay, good. <laughs> um, does somebody else want to play, play the questioner? Straight on shot. Anybody? Straight on shot. What's the question? So we need an interviewer for Paddy. And you're talking about the best question. And we are okay. showing to Patty the video. Wow. Her. So basically, basically, also, also, real her regarding, the, regarding John. her son. Eight. So you're going to talk right to the lens. Okay. So Patty, does your son know that you're uh, interviewing for this show? Well, he knows that we are going on a um, show where grown-ups um, might be talking about maybe dating, but he doesn't know the full extent of it. He's only eight, and it's definitely far too much for an eight-year-old to comprehend or understand. Hold, hold. I'd like to see in the past Patsy explaining it to the eight-year-old son. <laughs> So, I mean, if you were to have Patsy and the eight year old son. Now we need the eight year old son there. Uh, it is the son. He's the eight year old son. Now we need Oh, okay. Go around to reverse on that, Caroline. Are you ready? So, sweetie. <laughs> Sweetie, Daddy and I are gonna go on a show, I mean on a vacation. We're gonna take a little trip. You're gonna stay with Grandma for a little while. I, I can't go? Oh no, it's not really a, a kid trip. It's a grown-up trip. Oh. But I'm sure Grandma will have so much stuff for you to do. And, and you're both gonna come back? Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, sweetie, tell Mommy the truth. Do you love her or Daddy more? Oh! oh <laughs> We do not want to know that answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we do, but... Yeah, let's go back to the um, back interview. To, back to the grilling. <laughs> and help. <laughs> More grill too. She doesn't need to explain... Oh, you don't need to give her time to give four full sentences. More pressure. More pressure. <laughs> she needs to break. So, uh, when you split up, who's going to get custody of the kid? Well, since it's my kid, I will. Yeah, Al Alessandro is not the father. Does he know that? 
ja. <laughs> He knows that. And, you know, really, I think that John doesn't even think of Alessandro. I think he just thinks of him as a big play toy. Is that how you think of that? Often. It's one of the reasons that we're here. We're trying to see if maybe he can grow up a little bit and kind of grow up and maybe be a man because he's really got a great heart and he's a good, good man, but he's just still a little bit of a boy. I think that's enough. Next morning, some competition time. We had everybody nicely mixing with, so that we didn't have anybody swapping like husband wife. No? Yeah, everybody took one over, took one over. <laughs> awesome, then we can have a doubles tennis tournament. <coughs> with, obviously, the winner is getting the deluxe whatever date with motorboats and Get to go on a sailboat for yeah, get yes. to go on a, a, a sailboat. Four hour sailboat excursion with champagne and dinner and yeah. dolphins. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> most, most definitely some and, and pirate ship. And, and, and probably probably uh, the uh, probably uh, yes. the first losers get roughly a paddle boat date <laughs> on, on, on the <laughs> resort pool. <laughs> and the losers of the finals I guess they get a nice sort of dinner, you know. Yeah. Better restaurant than the one. <laughs> the, the first scene will be in a um, uh, dressing room or just before the um, place where you go to play, where the couple is discussing about strategies or how to play, or if they both know how to play. Yes, that is, that is a very good question. So they, they have just come out, came out of a <coughs> female and male's dressing room and are speaking about strategy. Yes. <laughs> any couple? Yeah, any couple. Any couple. There we go. There yep. we go. Beautiful. There you go. So, and your first opponent will be... Do you want to serve? Uh, Alessio. Well, we're still getting dressed. We're preparing. Yes. The racket. <laughs> and Alessio and Rose will be your first opponents. Alessio and Rose. <sighs> Do you think they really have any talent between the two of them? I'm not sure. This thing feels weird. It's, it's like I want to have a joystick on it or something. You know, I'm pretty sure Rose doesn't do anything with a, a tennis ball. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Well, Rose, I, I'm not that worried about. Um, in all of our years, I don't think she has ever picked up a racket, at least not one that was legal. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> she is a creative individual at times. Definitely one of the key attractions from way back when. Thank you. <laughs> key attraction from way back when. <laughs> wow. So let's, let's see Thank the key you. attraction, perhaps. Yeah, let's have the let's have the key traction then. <laughs> <laughs> you come in. You just lost the first set, and this is sort of you're sort of going there like, oh my god, or yeah, whatever. How do you feel? You just lost the first set. Uh, Rose, we got just this. A game. Yeah, yeah, it's I mean, no, 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 no. Oh, it, it is just a game, but boats. In the sunshine, we, we we're already we, in the sunshine. We are in Cancun. So you feel like we've won already? Kind of, yes. Mm. I I'm totally. The outcome is fine. Whatever. I mean, I've played enough Mario tennis that what? I'm ready for the next let's, round. Let's let's do it. Yeah. All right. Like, Up high. Yeah. Woo! We got him. <laughs> wow. Enough Mario tennis. <laughs> 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 now, now we need the results from the crowd for both of the first round games before we go for the final. Oh, wait, so you guys have to film us doing this. So, who from the crowd? Left and right. Left and right. right. This is Alessio Rose. 
They managed to catch up okay. the second, so we are on the third and sort of... Right. Who's judging? Ooh. Who's judging? The crowd. The crowd's reaction. Oh. The crowd's on... Oh. It's arbitrarily picked. The crowd is on the side. The volley is just so fast, I can't see it. I can't see it. It's like... Whoa! Wow! Rose just took one in the eye. Oh! oh. That's kind of hurt. Rose! Oh, she's going to show up on her date with a black eye. The way he handles that racket? Oh. No. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's excellent. So if I take it, they lost. <laughs> <laughs> so much for being on your side. <laughs> right. The other pair would be then Jason and Patty versus, we don't need you guys here. <laughs> but we do need Eric here to show your uh, huge, huge J Patty and Jason fan here. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> how <laughs> you are now. So how does the match else? end? It's the final point. They are about to win. How does the match go? Yeah, Let's certain no. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Okay. Ready? Oh, good. Yeah! yeah! Oh! <laughs> what do you mean? No! There was chalk there! <sighs> Can you believe how blind these oh. people are? It was obvious. It, it was, it was the obvious. Umpire, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> you know, this whole thing is rigged. I mean, the, the game, the, the, the everything, you can tell it's rigged. That was obviously it's clearly in. in. Thank you. Oh, you lost. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have finals with, who did win? You no, guys won. won. And See, then the other else. side is Helen and... Helen and Nate, Nate. right? Nate. Yeah. Yeah. And, yes. and let, let's have a scene with four people. Yes. You meeting just before the game starts. There's some There's the net, you net are, between you. Are, you are shaking hands. So shaking the hands. And there is a $5,000 prize for a person who makes the um, worst um, blunder. Blunder. Blowing it on the net, on, on speaking, like saying kind of the situation. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. Or basically, oh, yeah. <clears throat> let's rephrase. The best trash talk. Best trash talk. Oh, yeah. On the net. That was where it was going. On the net. Five thousand dollars on hand immediately after the game. Yeah. The Regar regardless talk. of the results of yeah. the game. Okay. Best trash talk on the net. Right. <laughs> 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 yeah. an accountant at something that involves nets. Good luck. <laughs> well, you know. Net. net. Oh, I'm sorry. That was the last time we played, wasn't it? You hit the net every single shot. It, I'm dead finishes. on. It's it's all about You're right. accuracy. Dead into the net. And, and Helen, good luck to you. I'm sure thank you'll be you. good at something. Oh, thank you. You're an awful person. Well, thank Helen. you. <laughs> you too. You're I bad. Saw, well, I, I said like, Mike. Oh, well, thank you. I saw your backhand. Yeah. Looks good. Thanks. Don't let that racket slip out of that hand. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Where do these people come up? <laughs> yeah.